I have always wanted to add in some infrared light to a grow, and now I have a chance. Welcome to the Hippie Geeks. Let's take a look at the Spider Farmer Glow R40 Deep Red Supplemental Light and see if we can squeeze it into our small tent. You may notice a bit of a theme between the last video, this video, and the next one. That is because Spider Farmer sent us several of their supplemental lights to check out, and now it is time to take a look at their Deep Red 660 NM Glow R40. It is packed just as well as the Glow 30 that we just looked at, and right on top you can see that this also comes with a weekly digital timer. After that is the bag that has all of the hanging accessories, which includes four ratcheting hangers, several zip ties, as well as four metal bars. We will take a look at those later. For now, let's get the lights themselves out of the packaging. You can see that the power cord is not plugged in, as this is a modular system, and you can hook up to 16 of these together here in the States where we use 110 volt power, or up to 32 of them if you are using 220 volt. Each one of these is going to pull 20 watts from the wall, or a total of 40 watts if you are using both of them. To get them out of the foam, you need to pull the lights out all of the way to the end of the cord, as they didn't split the foam on these lights like they did for the Glow 30. Once you have them both out of the foam, however, it is time to connect the power cable to the end of one of the lights. There is only one way that it will actually click on there, as the notch that you can see will keep it from going in backwards. Once it is pushed together, go ahead and screw the attaching nut onto it completely so that it is secured and sealed from moisture getting in there. Now go to the cord on the other end of that light and unscrew the protective cap so that you can get to the electrical connector that is under there. Find the open end on the second light that will match up and repeat the process of screwing them together. The tail that is left on the other side of the second light has to stay there and is not removable, which is a shame as it would be a lot easier to deal with if we could disconnect it entirely. Each bar on the light has 36 LEDs on them, which should give a really great spread across the space that you are using these lights on. In a larger tent with a larger light than the G3000 that I have in there currently, you can use these metal bars hooked into the ends to support the Glow R40 between the other lighting bars, but in my case the light is too small, so we will be using the ratcheting hangers to keep them in there. As you can see, I only have a single bar in here and I have mounted it at the top of the tent. The thing to remember with IR light is that a little goes a long ways and you want to use it for just the right amount with the right spacing so that you do not fry your plants. The way that you want to use supplemental IR light is to turn it on 30 minutes before your main light goes out for the night, but only run it for 10 minutes. You then want to leave it off for 10 more minutes and then turn it back on for the last 10 minutes of the light cycle. I am not sure if these digital timers will do that, but I have been using smart switches for years, and that is likely how I will control all of these as well. I am really excited to be able to use this in the upcoming grow, and from what I have read, you are able to use these throughout the entire grow cycle as the IR light gives benefits at each stage of growth. Have any of you folks used supplemental IR light like this in the past? If so, let me know in the comments down below, as I would love to know how it worked out for you, and if you saw a difference in the end product. I have personally never tried these out yet, and I am excited to see if it helps out. A big thank you to Spider Farmer for sending over the Glow R40 Deep Red Supplemental Lights, and if you want to check out this unit or any of their other gear for yourself, make sure to click on the links to their website in the video description down below, and use the discount code GEEKS at checkout to get 8% off your entire order.